Well, it's a beautiful day to start grilling. There's nothing better to cook a burger on the charcoal grill, right? Right. But what if you don't, you're in a place where you don't have a grill available to you, like an apartment, um, campgrounds, or even like tailgating? It's really hard to bring out just that really big grill out to small places like that, or it places is. where you have to travel. Well, the Everdure Cube Portable Grill aims to fix that problem. So it's a small portable grill, stainless steel, where you can just dump in the charcoal, light it up, and then cook your food. So I have right here with me, Eric. He's our photographer for the morning mix, and he's also a grill enthusiast. And he's here to help me today to test out the Everdure Cube Grill in our bargain or bust segment. So we're gonna see if the Everdure Portable Cube Grill can stand up to the heat. We'll be focusing on the grill's functionality, how well it cooks compared to other portable grills. Eric started the process by laying out some tumbleweeds, stacking the charcoal, and lighting it up. What you're looking for on these briquettes is you want them to be white and ashy. Some of them can be kind of partially lit, but you generally want these to be white and ashy. That means they're ripping hot and ready to go. Now the tricky part, is getting down to that tumbleweed to light it. As you can see, you're getting some white smoke, that's what you want to see, and they'll they'll start going. So we'll we'll come back in about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes and we'll put some burgers on the grill. All right. In the meantime, I'll be your sous chef and we'll get some things prepped. All right, sounds good. So for everybody who isn't a meat eater, you can also grill vegetables. So I'm gonna cut up some zucchini and some squash for Eric to grill so that we can see how it works with veggies as well. The grill came with a bamboo cutting board, along with storage space to put all my cooking tools, a very convenient feature. It made cutting and prepping the vegetables easy while we waited for the charcoal to get piping hot. Well, we've prepped the veggies, chopped them all up, the grill is all heated up and the smoke's died down, so Eric, what do we do next? Well, as you can see, uh, you know, what I said before, our the uh, coals have nice ash on them. That means they're ripping hot and ready to go. I kind of pushed them up forward to leave a little space at the back here uh, so that we have a place to put things that aren't, you know, directly cooking. We'll start with the veggies so we don't contaminate, you know, uh, so we don't put the veggies on after the meat. All right. And you cut these long ways, which is great. And then Yeah, so that way the vegetables on. won't yeah. fall through the cracks. Yeah. And yeah. Oh, you hear some sizzle. That's always a good sign. Mm -hmm. You don't want to put too much on the grill. You don't want to crowd it because, um, you know, the vegetables are cold mm -hmm. when you put them on there and you can change the temperature a little too much. But plenty on there and, yeah, they're starting to smoke. And I think, you know, soon we'll probably get some nice uh, grill marks on them. And so far, you know, I, I kind of am liking this. The size is great. Uh, you know, it's a nice little grill. Those veggies are looking tasty. However, while Eric was enjoying cooking on the Everdure, he did have one critique. There's uh, not a metal lid. It has, a, you know, it has that plastic lid to store stuff in, and then it has this nice cutting board that comes with it. But as for, you know, an actual metal lid, most grills that I've seen in this size have a metal lid, mm -hmm. and that metal lid kind of will let you uh, things will cook faster because you because it will radiate the heat back onto the vegetables. Um, so so far, that's I would say that's the only drawback. I would say. All right, we've cooked the veggies, and now we're on to the main course, burgers. Yeah, you hear that sizzle, that's what you want to hear, right? Yep. So just try to work it a little bit. Yeah, you might get a couple pieces that kind of stick to it, but the longer, the longer you go, the less your burger's gonna fall apart, so. Perfect. And these are, these are, these are good patties, so. Mm -hmm. The grill size plays a factor in how many burgers Eric wanted to cook at a time. The Everdure is about 14 inches long, 17 inches wide, and 9 inches tall. We could have cooked all four burgers at once, but since we weren't in a rush, Eric used the zoning method to cook the burgers, putting all the coals on one side of the grill for cooking, and the other side acted as a space to place the burgers when he was done cooking them. So Eric, you've grilled some veggies, you've grilled some burgers on this grill. What do you think? Definitely not a bust. It's doing what it's supposed to be doing. It's grilling the burgers, it grilled the veggies just great. Uh, you know, we can flip these one more time. Uh, you know, oh, yep, yeah, we're starting to get some color on them. So, yeah, it's definitely not a bust. Uh, but is it a bargain? Uh, the price point was what again? Uh, $1.99 before tax. $1.99 before tax. 
for a portable grill with no lid. Not quite, I wouldn't call it a bargain. That's, that's, a, that's a pretty steep price to pay for, for this. I think you're probably paying more for design at that point than functionality. But it does work, it gets the job done. It is very, a very pretty grill. <laughs> and it does, I would say it probably has the smallest footprint of the ones in this, in this category, in this class. Like, the other ones are bigger and they're probably a little bit more cum cumbersome than this one. I would say it's in the middle for me. Um, would I go out and buy it? Maybe, if I wanted to look cool at the party. This is pretty cool still. So I, 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 I do like it. It is, it is fun to cook on. Eric, there's only one thing left to do. You know what that is? Uh, get them ready to eat? Yeah, dress okay. them up with your right. favorite condiments and eat them up. All right, I like mustard on mine. All right. And pickles, because I'm a pickle guy. I don't really like ketchup. All right, and so. I'm a plain ketchup kind of gal, so we're just gonna do that plain cheeseburger with ketchup. There we go. And of course, you know, if you like tomatoes and onions, and you can do all that fancy stuff, but sometimes. Yeah, dress them up however you want, but. Sometimes it's okay just to keep it simple. All right, I guess this is the true uh, taste test, right? All right, all right, right here we go. Let us know how it is. Hopefully I didn't undercook them. How's that burger? Pretty good, actually. <laughs> Probably just a slightly, very slightly undercooked, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> but I got a mouthful, so I'm gonna let you do the chowder. All right, well there you have it. The grill works great. So if you are definitely like that grill enthusiast, you're looking for that sleek design, like portability, places that you can take it anywhere, like you wanna be like the griller of the party, the Everdur, a uh, portable grill is the thing for you. Again, not a bust, but if you're, if money is no object, then definitely this would be the grill for you. Yeah, it's a cute little grill. Yeah, Eric, again, thanks so much for no helping problem. me test this out. Hey, free food. Yeah. How can I resist? <laughs> All right, everybody, thanks for watching. <laughs>